your po- your podcast your episodes april 4th to ser- sermon april sermon april segments sermon a play speech off Father, we just thank you for your day, for this day, Lord. We thank you for your presence, Father God. We, you know, Lord Jesus, you said that you said if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. So, Lord, we just thank you. We just come here to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. We position ourselves to prepare. For a revival, you know, if I believe that if if the church, if if we cooperate with you, and we allow you to cleanse us, then society will follow. And so, Father, I thank you. You you give me the words to speak. Thank you, Jesus. But Lord, you may the spirit of intercession just take over. May the glory of God overwhelm every person under the sound of my voice, whether online or in here, Lord. And you just have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, the way I feel like the Lord has had me prepare this is this: the topic is going to be the thing that we're going to be praying about, like centered around praying about tonight, and it's called the season of purification. That's what the name of this message is called. And... Turn with me to Numbers 19, verses 1 to 10. Numbers 19, 1 to 10. And it says... Season of purification? Yes, sir. And it says, Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the Lord... I mean, of the law which the Lord has commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they may bring you a red heifer without blemish, in which there is no defect, and on which a yoke has never come. You shall give it to Eleazar the priest, that he may take it outside the camp, and it shall be slaughtered before him. And Eleazar the priest shall take some of its blood with his finger and sprinkle some of its blood seven times directly in front of the tabernacle of meeting. Then the heifer shall be burned in his sight, its hide, its flesh, its blood, and its awful, O-F-A-L, O-F-F-A-L, I don't know how you say that, shall be burned. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast them into the midst of the fire, burning the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes, he shall bathe in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. The priest shall be unclean until evening, and the one who burns it shall wash his clothes in water, bathe in water, and shall be unclean until evening. Then a man who is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and store them outside the camp in a clean place and they shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for the water of purification. It is for purifying from sin. And the one who gathers the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. It shall be a statute forever to the children of Israel and to the stranger who dwells among them. I want to give you a quick commentary right quick, which is that 1 John 1, 9 says that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. And so in the New Testament, we don't have to do animal sacrifices. But think of your prayer as like a, as Pastor Judy was talking about, like this Sunday, we're priests, mm-hmm. and the, you know, as the Bible says, so our prayers are like the sacrifice that goes before the Lord. But Jesus is our high priest, and he he advocates and sends it on up to the Father. 
pretty beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is, mm-hmm. amen. Yeah. And uh, Isaiah 4, our next verse is Isaiah 4, verses 2 to 6. And it says, In that day the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and appealing for those of Israel who have escaped. And it shall come to pass that he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy, everyone who is recorded among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and purged the blood of Jerusalem from her midst by the spirit of judgment and the spirit of burning, then the Lord will create above every dwelling place of Mount Zion and above her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a a flaming fire by night. For over all the glory there shall be a covering. And there will be a tabernacle of shade, I mean, for shade in the daytime from the heat, for a, oh, catch this, for a place of refuge and for a shelter from storm and rain. Mm-hmm. And this promise was given to Israel, but I believe that it is highlighted for us in this hour that if we're willing to cooperate with this glory, I mean, with this cleansing right now that God is doing, then we will experience this glory that is promised here in the scripture. We will experience the, the manifest presence, the, the glory, the miracles, all of the things that they've experienced in the book of Acts. Amen. Now our Amen. final, this is our final scripture. And it is found in Acts chapter 3, verses 19 to 26. And also, I want to give you one more comment. Can you imagine? I I felt like the Lord was speaking to, to me about this as I was reading that verse. Can you imagine a unified church, Jew and Gentile, coming together? It's Amen. beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it mm-hmm. would be. Praise now, I, God. Yeah, it's going to happen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Now in Acts 3, verses 19 to 26, it says, Repent ye therefore, and this is in the King James, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refle- refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began for Moses truly said unto the fathers a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you for your brethren like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindred of the earth be blessed. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him him to bless you, and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Amen. Now, for those online, I'm going to do a short altar call. We're not going to do, I don't feel like the Lord is wanting us to do that curse-breaking prayer tonight. Because this is going to be for, for prayer. But I want to encourage every person listening 
if you're a Christian and there's something that the Lord is dealing with you about, to bring it before Him today. Amen. And if you are someone listening that you're, you're uh, a non-Christian and you're like, I don't know what this is, but it feels different. That is our God. That is your Creator wooing you to come home. Amen. And I would implore you, I would encourage you, as if the Lord, him, as if our God Himself would come home. Time is short. And so I'm going to end with a prayer. And I'm just going to say a prayer for every person. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, here and online, I ask that you would confirm your word with signs and wonders following the Lord. And if everyone would, if you feel free to, uh, to pray in the spirit if the Lord leads. But Father, I just pray that you would just, you would just, your glory would just come in, Father God, that you would, you would confirm your words, that this would sweep, that this would take the world, your word would take the world by surprise. And we decree, decree right now, salvation is for the Jew as well as the Gentile. It's for the poor as well as the rich, Lord. And we thank you that the eyes of the blind, spiritually as well as physically, are opened in Jesus' yes, name. Yes. Amen. First of all, I'd like to apologize for any and all background noise that you may hear. And Secondly, I want to thank you for listening to this edition of the Design for Victory podcast. And... <clears throat> Uh, I'm not sure how future Tuesday nights are going to be, but this is how, you know, we're doing things a little bit different tonight uh, because this is a prayer meeting. And I would encourage, encourage you that are listening online, that are believers, to pray concerning the what was taught tonight and uh, just whatever else the Lord leads you after this Um After you listen to this episode. And. Unfortunately this. Sunday's recording. I forgot to put the communion segment on there. You know I forgot to do one. But next Sunday we will be doing communion again. Because it's Easter Sunday. And. I believe that this sermon. That the Lord had me teach tonight. Is in preparation for. This time when we all get together and have communion this next Sunday and we all celebrate Easter. On other notes, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, just hit the thumbs up button, comment, and which that'll be below the subscribe and all of the, everything else. Share. And also, if you uh, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to get notified of future videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell, which is to the right of that. And then be sure that your notifications are set to all notifications so that you will be able to get notified of future videos. Also, like I said earlier, if if you are subscribed and you didn't think to hit the bell be sure to do that if you if you would like to get notified of future videos and that way and then uh, go to hit the all make sure that it says all on there instead of personalized so that you'll get notified of future videos and Like I said earlier, Pastor Mickey will be preaching Sunday. And so if you're interested, feel free to come you know, back to this podcast or this video and listen to it. Also, for those of you who are on the podcast, feel free to rate the show, comment below the episode. Share. Uh, Again, I apologize for for the noise, background noise. Um, 
but and then for those of you on the podcast on Spotify, you just hit see all episodes and then go to the top and then when you see the cross um I think it's on Apple Podcasts it'll be on the top right. But below the cross where it says download and then on voiceover it'll say more options on one of the buttons. Um in the midst of all those buttons you should see a follow podcast button. Hit that and then to the right of that it'll say uh, like in vo- on voiceover it'll say notification disabled. So to the right of that make sure that you hit that if you want to get notified of future video or vi- uh, episodes and that will enable the notifications. That's just on Spotify. And also, there's another podcast that I listen to, and it's called The Blind Exorcist Podcast. Now, earlier, for those of you that are subscribed, uh, I forgot to mention where the podcasts are found. And to those of you that are new, that maybe you've just subscribed to this channel, or that, you know, the podcast, you're like, wait a minute, where where can we find this? Uh, I apologize, I just forgot to say it earlier, but you can find it on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, TuneIn. And even on justind.com, where he's got blogs that have each episode, but it also has the resources needed for that episode. And so thank you all very much for listening once again. And let us know how this has blessed you. Oh, I almost forgot. But if you want to contact us in other ways... Call us or text us or write to the P.O. Box or then go to www.kingdomadvance, K-I-N-G-D-O-M-A-D-V-A-N-C-E dot family dot blog. And then once the web page loads, go to the menu and it'll say uh, find the about us page. And that's where not only will it talk about our ministry, but it'll talk about places that you can write to us or other ways that you can get in contact with us. And thank you all very much for listening, and God bless.